Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and free live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try marketgurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously, create dozens of quick lists, display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show. Wednesday, December 21st, 2016, uh, almost at the end of the year. And uh, But uh, the market is very boring this morning. There is absolutely no bullish momentum. There are uh, on, on the gas, but the, the gas stock are not reacting that much to that. And it's USO now that is getting weak. Uh, uh, on uh, the inventory at 10.30, uh, USO went down, and then uh, just a few minutes ago, it went down again, and there's no rebound for the moment, so uh, um, uh, it, it, repur it reports all a buy signal that we could have had on, on the energy sector. We'll be going, well, I'll be showing it to you in a, in a moment. Uh, so for the moment, so uh, the Nasdaq is coming back up, but still following a downtrend since it opened up yesterday. Same thing on the Dow Jones, which is close to a, well, you know, there's no movement at, uh, at the moment. And it's going down the TS, on the TSX because of the crude oil. You know, so uh, uh, USO and, uh, went down and, uh, uh, today and the gas went up. Uh, so the stock went up and then went down. So it's the, uh, at the zero point right now. A little bit negative on the materials, on the mining, nothing on the gold. It's just not moving at all. And, and neither the other sectors. All sectors are just straight flat or, or, or negative a little bit like the con uh, consumer discretionary whether I was uh, at the zero point is coming down right, right now. And uh, the only movement we got is uh, an, uh, 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 it's the, on the um, industrial sector where uh, you have a, a, a few uh, movement there uh, with, uh, first of all, the Canadian uh, National Railways come, uh, going back up towards its resistance. CP does nothing, but it's Lavalin that uh, had a contract in Alberta uh, for maintenance uh, uh, for five years with a company. So uh, uh, there's an important resistance that had been broken today. There's an increase in the volume as well. And Chorus that was in fire yesterday that kept going up today, uh, reaching a level where we feel uh, some uh, profit taking right now, but nothing really major. And uh, and Bombardier has stabilized too, uh, showing now it's it's new support. So if you enter this movement earlier, uh, the uh, reversal of this point is two dollar two. 
So for the moment, it's a hold until it reaches uh, that uh, point. Uh, so, uh, you know, uh, it, it is very hard uh, to expect. Uh, we cannot expect a lot on, on the market today. Nothing is, is uh, uh, moving. It's a very boring market. But at the moment, uh, it, it's still um, heavy a little bit. You know, look at the uh, staples that went up this morning and down until zero and is now attempting even to break yesterday's support. So, uh, the, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a little bit weak and it is on the healthcare as well. So I hope the market will, co will come back this afternoon. But right now, it is slightly going down. So the bullish momentum is, has completely died. I only have one question here to open in the question bar. So do not hesitate if you have any questions. Uh, for the moment, I want to uh, show you another stock here. Uh, that was nice earlier, and it's still, uh, which is health insurance innovation. It's a healthcare, uh, they say, but it's an insurance as well. Uh, so, uh, and the stock has a pretty well, uh, a pretty nice formation. It is at its uh, high ever right now, and the stock has recovered in the last couple of months uh, what it has lost in the last three years. So that is very uh, strong. And it, it, uh, the stock has had his, his uh, highest volume of his history so far. So uh, uh, the risk is, uh, is uh, that the sell signal, uh, you know, uh, let, let's see it this way. So this, uh, the, the stock shows a nice progression and the reversal of this movement would be $13.50. And on a very, very short term, it could even be uh, earlier than that as uh, we have support at uh, 14 10 and 14.30. Uh, uh, so uh, right now there are plenty of uh, a place to get to escape the position if it uh, uh, changes the direction uh, so far. So that's that's the nicest stake, uh, stock I could find. And um, and um, uh, there's that stock here that is really pushing hard. I don't know what happened with that. It's Intermap uh, um, uh, Corp. Uh, the stock has done a nice movement this morning. Will it, it could continue a couple of uh, uh, more days uh, later. We'll see uh, as it goes. And uh, so I have that first uh, question here we can answer right away about CZO in Toronto at 186. Uh, CZO 186. Okay, so you bought it on the breakout here, I presume, and it's now doing a, a correction. Let's see it on the, in the 15 minute chart. So we're just about uh, having a reversal there. So we're very, very, very close. As we say sometimes, the stock can come back half of its movement and it's still an uptrend. And, uh, but you cannot trace the uptrend this way because uh, anywhere uh, it's gonna uh, break. So it'll probably more logic to have something like that. But you bought at 186, but you know, uh, past 175, it's going to come back to 160. So it's up to you if you want to stay there. But next sell signal would be 175 or 73 or something like that. I think we're going to the break now. Okay, let's go. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try marketgurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am, I am just made a, um, a scan here with 150,000 in volume minimum and trying to find something. And I had to go uh, like uh, 10 stock before finding something interesting. And I have one that is very interesting here. Alderon, uh, Alderon Iron Ore is uh, presenting a very uh, funny pattern with uh, uh, bottoms always higher and the resistance always the same. So that tells me that the buyers always bring the stock back to the 40 cents, but never wants to sell at, 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 at the same price. So they, they stop selling always at a higher price. So it's usually the type of pattern that is promising. So um, I think uh, what we have to do is to keep that stock in, in, in sight, you know, until it's stabilized at 40, and then, in, and then it would begin a new bullish cycle at 42, 43. Uh, I got another question that came in here. Uh, USO is a, is a low price now, about 11.50. Yes, uh, but that's not what I say. Well, low price if you compare it to the price before, and like uh, like uh, the crude oil too, which is around 50 bucks, and it, it's been 140. Uh, but for 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 uh, since a moment, uh, USO is higher, and it's still at its resistance, which is uh, uh, a very important resistance. So it's low when you compare it to the long term. It is high if you compare it to uh, the short term. But the next breakout would be above twelve dollar there. So uh, I let uh, let's do let's do uh, that scan again uh, for the next uh, few minutes. Uh, we have no more questions. So I will. HND is going down because yes, the gas is going up. So I like that Alderan. And uh, you have another uh, Nevada copper here that is reviving too. He's been very very calm in the volume for a long period. And now he's like uh, more active. So that's another one to check whenever he comes back here to 82 and then breaks to, 80, uh, to 90. Uh, air then gold, uh, something goes on with this stock because the gold isn't moving. So uh, uh, it's a sw story of them. And uh, the stock is on the move right now. I haven't seen that one. Um, and and, and, and uh, let's check if we can find some, something else. Uh, Prometic is in danger right now, but it could still be uh, a, 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 a nice uh, bottom. But uh, past this point, there's another sig uh, sell signal at 145. And, uh, but it might be uh, uh, just a weakness, and, uh, and the stock could, uh, could do better in the, less, in the next uh, a few days. And uh, also, uh, again, uh, trying. Oh, there's another one here, uh, Storna with Diamond is, is uh, uh, pulling back and uh, it is a major uh, support here and the stock is still uh, within a trend, uh, an uptrend uh, on the long term but in the short term it's a sideway movement so I think it's not a, uh, a very bad location to buy the risk isn't that big that you have 10 cents risk, risk there if, uh, if anything happened uh, later and uh, look at that one here, uh, Africa Oil, that is also following the same uh, uh, path as uh, uh, USO. And it, and it shows a little bit like what USO is doing right now on the short term. So there will be a buy signal here at uh, 250 whenever it happens. Lithium of, of America at 90 or maybe a little bit less uh, while, while Richmond is looking bad. And uh, center of gold is looking very bad, breaking through its support too. And that's what I was talking about, the oil stock advantage. Oil has a, a, the, the gas stock, so it's only the, the, the increase of the gas that made that for advantage oil. So it's still a hold, but there will be a sell signal at $8.50. So, uh, you know, that's about what we have. Uh, the, the gold in, and the mining now wants to go down a little bit. So I don't expect to see anything bullish yet. And, uh, and we have a good chance to see it very quiet also for the rest uh, of the week until uh, Christmas. So I thank you very much for attending. Uh, we'll see you uh, next week. We'll be there. Yeah. Okay.